St. Teresa Regional School, a unique partnership of parents, teachers, and students working together to empower students to know themselves as created and loved by God. Forming minds and hearts for leadership and service, we achieve academic excellence, spiritual development, and individual responsibility in a safe and loving environment. This is our mission, a mission born from our core beliefs. Today we will hear from parents, teachers, and students who will explain how these beliefs are exemplified in everyday life here at St. Teresa School. St. Teresa Regional School was probably the best example of an integrated environment that we could find that took excellent academics and also married that with uh, a great social experience for the kids and then most importantly for us as a family was that religious integration. When I come to school I feel like you're leaving home and like you're saying goodbye to your family but then you come here and you're saying hi to your, your second family. And I searched every school I think in the diocese but when I came here I was met by the principal immediately and I just felt such a warmth I enjoyed speaking to the students. I enjoyed seeing what they were doing. I learned about the curriculum. And when I left, I just felt like this is it. This is where I want to send my kids. We believe that religious instruction in St. Teresa School is the underlying reality in which the students' experiences in worship, learning, and living will achieve coherence and meaning find some things that I, I knew that I learned at one point I may have forgotten about and that they're relearning and I'm sort of relearning with them to sort of appreciate as an adult something that you forgot about as a kid. Uh, no one could be exposed to religious instruction day after day without it becoming part of who they are, part of all the decisions that they make. And so it's our privilege and our responsibility to do that well. We believe that all students are children of God. Therefore, students are counseled to respect others and exhibit concern and compassion through the use of good manners, affording each other their rightful dignity in all circumstances. I find it um, refreshing that the kids do really have a sense of respect for each other. I also am impressed by when there is the occasional um, schoolyard conflict that they're encouraged to sit down and talk things out and to appreciate the feelings of the other person. Each day we all know that we are called by God to respect each other and everything that we do and to get respect we need to show respect to others and our teachers. They don't hesitate to show their faith, to show their respect, their kindness to one another. It just is uh, permeates throughout the school. We believe the administration and faculty seek to provide a program that is spiritually and academically strong so that students are empowered to share their gifts and talents with a sense of responsibility for service to God and neighbor. Just to see how excited they can be about giving something of themselves to someone else is something that inspires us as a family, especially as a parent. Over the summer we were driving somewhere on the highway and there was a tractor trailer and it had a huge sign on it. It said Operation Smile and everyone in the car knew. They, they knew about it and I had never heard of it until then and it was just kind of neat because it, it wasn't just he knew about it, it was something that he participated in and that was pretty remarkable. I love the walkathon, and I also like the um, Foolish Macaque Day and I like it because it's not only just having fun with you know the school, we're also helping for a good cause. We believe the review and development of curriculum is an ongoing process that requires the cooperation of classroom teachers, coordinators, and administration to act in conjunction with the guidelines set forth by the Office of Catholic School of the Diocese of Camden. And as a teacher, we all work together to make sure that our kids' learning is seamless throughout the entire building that everything is on the same page, everybody knows what everyone's doing, and it sort of gives them a good follow through with each class and what their expectations are. The team effect of the teachers analyzing constantly what's working, what's not working, is very, very important. 
We believe that the educational practices and tools to facilitate learning include an integration of language arts across the curriculum as well as multimedia and technological resources with cooperative learning experiences in all curriculum areas. The smart board engages them. They really come alive when they can go up there and move the things around on the smart board and so it makes learning fun for them. In language arts, uh, one of my favorite things, as the children will tell you, is diagramming. And diagramming is just so much more fun going on on a smart board. And we think it's fun, but we're actually learning. So it's kind of like the teachers are sneaking, like, le like learning into fun things. As an art teacher, we can use technology to research an artist or a, a master artist and then take that information and use it to make a sculpture that's based on that artist. I always look for ways that uh, can make it fun so that's one of them shaving cream spelling and it's really great because they get to practice their, their spelling words uh, in shaving cream and, and they just have so much fun with it but they don't even realize that they're practicing not only their printing but also their spelling. Spark a spelling is when you say the word that uh, that you, you you could say the word that's on a spelling list and somebody says sparkles and then you got to, you get to sit on a desk to do it. We believe that both formal and informal evaluations serve to assist teachers in ascertaining student mastery of concepts, the need for remediation accommodations and or modifications. I've actually seen personally for both of my children ways that the teachers here have helped you know recognize individual needs or strengths that the children have. My older son was asked to be part of the child study team here at St. Teresa's so it helped him learn studying skills that is specific and individual for his needs. In math I had a lot of help throughout the grades because I had trouble with it in certain grades and I sometimes I just didn't get it so teachers would put me in smaller groups and help me understand it better by explaining to me different ways. Evaluations and assessments of the students are important in order for us to be able to adjust our curriculum to where there might be needs and every student isn't good at every type of assessment so we have been able to adjust. I've had students where have problems putting their thoughts down in writing, but if I ask them the questions orally, they give me very, very satisfactory answers. We believe parents are the primary educators of children and share in the responsibility and coordination of efforts with the faculty to provide a safe environment encouraging a love for learning and the nurturing of self-esteem in children. I think it's important for any parent to be involved in the community or the school no matter where they go. I think it's important for the kids to see that you want to be a part of what they're learning, a part of their everyday life. When your kids can see that no matter how busy we are, we're called to, to be disciples, we're called to give of our, our talent, no matter what that is, and I think on <laughs> some small area I think there's something that I can contribute and when your kids see that they're learning from that and I think they take pride in that. And I like her being involved because I feel that when she does that that she really cares about my school and she puts a good impression on me. We believe that weekly class participation in the Holy Eucharist fosters students growth as members of the Catholic Christian community ready to live out the call of Jesus to serve others. I think you can only grow in your faith if you are basically fed the right food and nourished in that way. And I feel that that's what they do by going every single week to Mass. I like going to Mass because it, you learn more about Jesus in the Gospel readings. I want my kids to feel comfortable that they can say prayers before they have a test or that they can pray for somebody in their classroom and when they go to church that it, it was an accepted thing, that it wasn't something out of the ordinary because that's not out of the ordinary for us at home. God, can you just make a, things a little bit better today and make something like be good today? 
We believe that the whole child is developed spiritually, morally, intellectually, socially, and physically by the faith community of school and parish in a safe and loving environment. To this end, every effort is made to help students acquire skills, virtues, and habits of heart and mind necessary for effective leadership and service. I just really love the school, like the whole environment of having that feeling like you know you're always welcome, the family environment. And the teachers get to form a relationship with you and become more than an acquaintance, like, like a friend. It's not just about going to school and learning about math and spelling and things like that, it's about the person that they're going to become one day. The presence that they bring to each other speaks to me personally that they really, deep down inside, they know that that other child is created in the image and likeness of God. And if we teach nothing else here, if they leave here with that understanding about every other child and every other person, that they're created in the image and likeness of God, we have done our duty. This is our belief. This is what we are called to do. For the children of St. Teresa's school. This is our mission. And our gift. For society and the church.